<laughs> What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and we're doing a wand review for... Oh yeah, I forgot, you're here. You don't normally do these videos with me. We're doing a wand review for uh, Unique Wands by Geek Gear, and uh, they sent this out to us for review, and um, I'm hoping that we get another one next month as well. And um, so, a couple things about these. They are a subscription box, and you get, what? You get a wand a month for $14.99, $14 plus if you're in the US, it's like $6, or Shipping. it's not actually dollars, it's uh, pounds. pounds, right? So it comes out to like 26 bucks if you wanna get a new wand every month. And from what I understand, these are all original designs that um, you can submit your design to them and also uh, they will actually have their own, obviously, creators that make their wands. They are made out of acrylic, um, they're not real wood. It says resin. So it says- I'm sorry, resin, acrylic. <laughs> It's a very similar thing. It okay. says, please know all wands are only styled on real wood and are made of resin material. So also this subscription is called what? Wizardry Wands? Wizardry so Wands, So I think yes. it's the Wizardry Wands is the subscription if you want to go and find it online. But you can also buy them individually. Oh, you can? So they, they actually have them on the website. Oh, that's so cool. you can just buy them. So you can buy it like the backlog one. Or you could just subscribe to the to the latest, to the new one and get it every month. So it's cool. Got it's it. nice. The 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 quality of the wands themselves, as like prop prop like resin wands, resin, right? Or is it acrylic? Resin. Okay, it's the same thing. I mean, is they're, it? they're plastic. They're no. both like a type of plastic. I don't know. You said it. And I was like, that's not what I read. Mm -hmm. Um. So the box reminds me very much of the newer noble boxes kind of like how they're shaped and even like the feel. Am I wrong? You are. Um, oh, so, okay. So these are, the boxes themselves are very cardboardy, like just like a, a regular style, you know, like a, just a regular box. The Noble collection ones are more of a... The ones you buy in like Barnes and Noble? The, well, those aren't the... That's the one I'm thinking of though. Oh. Like, well, that doesn't, it's not the same thing. Oh. Because those they're aren't... Noble collection Yeah, though. but those aren't real like the collector box, like any of the boxes, you know? Yeah. Um, so I think that the most unique thing about this, hi, it's unique ones, that's what they're called. Uh, the most unique thing is that they do come up with a new design every month. I think that's what the coolest thing about it. Um, so let's look at this one. What is the, What are the stats for this one? So they're calling it the Blaireau wand. I, I'm not gonna show you what it looks like, but I can't, I don't really know how to read that. But they're saying that the length is 13 and a half inches. The core is badger whisker. I've never heard of that. Mm -hmm. And the wood type is redwood. And of course they have like the asterisk, which over here says it's resin. Do you uh, think that this looks like a badger? Yeah, I guess it does. I just, I, that's not what I thought when I originally looked at it. I thought it was like, I don't know what I thought. All right, so um, here is the wand. As you can see, it has a little badger. I think he's cute. It's like a, it's like a, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a honey badger. And it looks like, I was looking at the previous ones that they had, and it does look like they've had other animals on there. It looks like they had an eagle. So they may be doing they the had house a, They had a raven. Okay. Um, they had an owl. Uh, so they do have other designs. They had one that had like a little, like a little piece of string or a little piece of leather with some feathers on it, which looks pretty cool. So if you guys are uh, familiar with my wands videos or any of my wand review videos, I don't like animals on things um, at I all. I think the way they executed it was kind of cute though. It's kind of like the animals like holding onto the wand instead of the end of the wand being part An animal, animal head, yeah. Which is like what you don't like. So yeah. this is like one of my original like I or ideas, things that popped into my head when I saw the wand. I was like, Kaibox is gonna have issue with this, or he's gonna take issue with this, but I think it's unique and cute because he's just holding on to the wand and he's not just like turning into the wand. Okay, so um, I think it's done very well. I'm just not a big fan of the animal. I still don't like animal things. I think, um, but it's really hard to incorporate a badger yeah. Into a wand because badgers don't really have like unique character traits. You know, like like a snake, you can incorporate scales or something like mm -hmm. that, or a slithery, like or like even a rattlesnake tail type thing. You know, like at the at the handle. 
a furry animal is a lot harder to do, you yeah. know, unless you did like a skull or something, like a, like an animal skull of some kind. But then at that point, you'd be surprised that people don't really know what animal skulls look like. Like rabbit skulls. You think they have giant ears? No. No, they just have holes. Yeah, huge holes. So I also, one of the first things I noticed, like the amount of detail is actually pretty intricate. I like, do really like this. Yeah. I, I think that like... If I made a wand like this, I would just try to make this part. And I think even without this badger thing on it, it would look really good. Yeah, no, like the wand itself, I feel like has a lot of detail and it looks really good. Even like the hair on the badger is really detailed. Like that was all originally carved out or not carved out, but like put in there. Um, so like I, I appreciate the detail. I love the detail on the wooden part, the part that looks like wood. I think it looks pretty legit and it took a long time. Um, it's pretty it's, heavy. Yeah, and that's another thing I noticed is like, it's pretty high quality. I feel like it's cheaper than the normal, like other wands you find. The Noble Collection ones. Yeah, yes. it's cheaper unless than those, you but buy, it doesn't feel cheaper to me. Unless you buy like the knockoffs on like from, from those like, China oh. websites or whatever, you know, that takes like a month to get the wands in. Um, if you ever find a Harry Potter wand that is like less than 30 bucks, less than $25, it's probably it's fake. Probably fake. Um, so just keep it, keep a, you know, look out for that. So um, what I think about this design itself, I love the, 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 the handle, the, the, so no. All right, let me explain. I, I love the whole general wand. I wouldn't put this as a traditional or a, uh, a conventional style wand. It's definitely more of a, um, just a plain hand or a plain blade, but then it has this little pommel part here. So I feel like if you remove this, it would make it just a really nice wand. It would, it would look a lot more like, let's say like Hermione's or something like that. And this is something that they probably have to think about though when making wands for like a surprise wand every month. A lot of people wouldn't like just that that simple, plain look, I feel. And that's why they added the badger. Yeah. Because, like, most people want something cute and cool like that. Like, I, I think he's cute. Yeah. Uh, so, and I just feel like a lot of people wouldn't appreciate the art of just that wand being yeah. that whole wooden I, I do like more simplistic stuff. That is true. I always say that on our wand reviews. Mm. Is that, like, you know, simple always, like, gets me. Um but that's not popular opinion, I feel. I so think, like... I feel so. Yeah, I feel like it, yeah. A lot of people like like super gaudy, gaudy stuff. Yeah. Um, this isn't that uh, that far. Um, no, I think he's cute. I, I think thought if it was somebody, a bear, I think, at first. I think if somebody submitted this uh, as a wand for wand review, um, I would be impressed because it looks very good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's just usually when people do submit animal stuff, it's just not well done enough. I love... Um, Crumb's wand. It has an eagle head on it. And it looks really good. Yeah, I so, don't remember. Um, yeah, so would I recommend these? As of right now, I would say if you want a unique wand, it's unique to the point where not a lot of people are going to have it. Yeah. But, you know, everyone else that is subscribed to the box or buys that wand will have it. But they are nice wands. No, I agree. I think for the price, it's definitely worth the price. 20 bucks basically. Yeah. If you're in Europe, it's like 20 bucks. If you're in the US or probably anywhere else, it'll be a little bit more. But $26 is, is our math for having this shipped to the US. I feel like that's a decent price for because it feels pretty hefty. It feels like a well made wand. It's not like flimsy feeling. I think that's what I was afraid of. It's not like some of those uh, other ones that we've gotten in the mail oh my God. or in the yeah. in subscription boxes where. They just like chopped off, you know. This at least has like a little bit of uh, no. Somebody put some work into yeah, it, you know. It's and it is cool that it comes in a little box made for that it. That you could, uh, yeah. I don't know if it actually is made exactly for it. I think they may have a couple of different ones. Oh, okay. That will fit in here because it's it's not perfect, but it does fit. But you can have this displayed like you do the other ones next to them like that. You know, probably how I'll do it. So um, yeah, it's it's cool. Also comes with this little uh, card. I think thing. you're supposed to fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Should we fold it? No. Oh. Just gonna stick it in here like this. <laughs> fold it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll put a link down below to um, Unique Wands by 
Geek Gear. I'm not sure if that's the official name for it, but I'll put a link to their thing down below. We don't get any sort of kickback from that. We just, uh, we're just showing off their wands and doing a little review. And hopefully we'll do another one next month. If you guys wanna see another review for next month's wands um, or wand, uh, let us know down below. Let us know what you think of this wand, what your review on a scale of one to 10, what you would give this wand. I would give it a quality for a, for like a re, you know like a like a prop wand, I would give it like a good eight. Yeah, the you quality know, is good. Quality wise, I like um, it. I think I would give it an eight just in general. I think that him hugging the thing is like super cute. Design, I'd give it like a seven. You maybe, just don't like animals. Maybe a six. Yeah. But that's just yeah. Again, that's me, right? Yeah, um, I think it's better than that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Uh, Hope to see you guys soon in another video. I always say I hope to see them, but I can't see them. So I always feel stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stupid. How do you feel? You feel stupid too? Yeah, you, you is stupid. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below letting us know if you like this wand or not. Let us know if you have um, this subscription or if you are thinking about getting it. And uh, leave a comment saying... So leave two comments? Yeah, we're going to have you write, uh, honey. Honey? Mm-hmm. Okay. In the comment. That's easy, because it's a badger, so I mean. <gasps> like a honey badger. Or honey dukes. Say bye, Meek. Bye, Meek. Bye, bye, bye. Mm -hmm.